welcome to Love is Blind. Yeah. Congratulations. I mean, when this premise first started, I'm sure you had the same reaction. Like a lot of people out there like, what? Yeah. How is this going to work? People are not going to fall in love sight unseen. And boy, were we wrong, right? I think also with how invested the viewer got, we were wrong yes. about. Um, because also you're like, OK, well, they're going to fall in love, but that's their story. But meanwhile, you're like, sitting there on the end of your couch or standing up yelling at the TV, you know, or yelling at your partner. And my favorite are the guys that are like, I'm not gonna watch another real, <laughs> <gasps> can we see the next episode? All the guys that got hooked. I think for Absolutely. us, like in filming season one, we didn't realize kind of what we were getting into. It was just a big sure. experiment, right? Uh, like, like all shows in the first season. But we got so invested while we were filming it. And it really showed us that if we're this invested in, in this process and this invested in these people, uh, and their journey, then I, I gotta believe that, that you know, the viewing public out there will be too, and thank God that's what happened. It's scary, but I'm here because I'm looking for a husband. <laughs> it's been one of the hardest things, dating as an adult. Am I really gonna meet my wife in the grocery store? I've done a lot of this life alone, and I just don't wanna do it alone anymore. Pods are open! Is love. Oh my God. Truly. Blind. And what I like about you guys as hosts, I feel, I feel like we've known both of you as a couple and you know individually for so long. And let's be honest, some people get these hosting jobs and they're like doing the hosting job, reading the prompter, <laughs> that's fine. But you guys are so like authentic and like real okay. and raw, like like you know, like get involved in the reunion and giving your opinions, even sharing your own stories about your own love story. Did that surprise you how personally involved you got? No, we we tend to be a pretty open book, you know what I mean? Like, and I think that you never want to like be preachy about it. Like what works for us may not work for anyone else, but all we can do is share kind of our journey and, and the lessons we've learned and, our mistakes. and maybe that resonates with somebody, maybe it doesn't. But that's, that's I, think, I think that's been our approach to hosting, especially shows like this, you know, where yeah. people are putting themselves out there and, and we want them to feel that we're kind of putting ourselves out there as well. I mean, we're, we're all on this journey together, so to speak, so. We try to be as um, authentic as we can because We've been together for 16 years and we've been married yeah. for 11 and we've had high highs and low lows and, and they allow us to be ourselves and yeah. um, we're very grateful for it. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Will you marry me? <gasps> what the f You're in gay! I haven't connected the person in the pod with the person I'm looking at. There are so many unanswered questions. Do you think I should have any reservations? Are you kidding me? We should just swap fiancés. And let me ask you both. I mean. Had you done this experiment yourselves and gone into these pods before you guys met, what would have been the one thing that you fell for about the other without seeing each other first? You know, we always, we, we actually think about this a lot. Would we have found each other in the pods? You know, and it's ironically, we have the same birthday. We're both, you know, Scorpios. Or we're very similar in a lot of ways. And I, I, I don't just say this for the benefit of the show. I think we really would have found each other uh, in, in that situation. We're, we're so, we have so many of the same passions and so many of the same dreams and interests. And I think that we would have sifted through all the other stuff and found each other. Um, Do you call the other girls the other stuff? Sifted through the other the stuff? The other noise, the other noise, <laughs> the noise. The... And then in comes in this, ah. No, um, he, we, we have the same drive and we have yeah. the same um, beliefs and so we do talk about that question and I think we would have found each other. We even have the same stupid sense of humor <laughs> that like that would come through and um, and honestly we we kind of dated like that like the first nine months of our relationship I was in New York and he was in LA and and it just was no physical interaction there wasn't you know FaceTime so we weren't looking at each other it was Strictly a phone call where it's like, I'm gonna fall asleep. No, you Oh, back in up. the day. Remember the yeah. Back in the day, calls? right? We fall and asleep then, together. Like you, you talk so long, your ear starts to your hurt. Ear you know? starts it's to like hurt. that's yeah. And that's yeah. we just got to know each other because I mean truly, whenever we did see each other, we weren't talking much. So <laughs> <laughs>